Hi, it's Phil from Inclusive Music, teaching the world to make music with BandLab. And in this video, I'm going to share with you the secret to making super fast hi hats to create your amazing trap and hip hop beats. Starting from here and getting to here. Let's go! So first of all, add a track, top left hand corner, and we're going to work with the drum machine. Click on the icon and we can see the 808 kit. It defaults to this beat. And in order to get rid of it, right click, clear pattern. There's one on B as well, right click, clear pattern. C, D to H are all empty. So the first thing to do is to deal with a hi-hat. And we want 16, so I'm just gonna hold down the mouse, drag it across. And on a trap beat, we're gonna start with the first beat here. And the snare is gonna come in halfway through on the ninth beat. Let's have a listen. Now, the big problem with BandLab at the moment with their drum machine is that you can only have 16ths and trap and hip hop require 32 segments per beat. And at the moment we've only got 16. So how do we get around this? Well, this is what I'm gonna show you here. Next thing to do is go to pattern B, it's empty. So we can do the same thing. I'm gonna add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll have the snare as well on nine. Okay, B, we just added that. C is just that one. Snare drum on nine and the hi-hats Drag them all the way through. And pattern D, all the hi-hats. Snare on nine. One, four, seven, and two at the end, 15, 16. Okay, that was D. Let's have a look at E. One, seven, 13, hi-hats all the way through, snare again on nine. F, kicks on three, hi-hats all the way along, and snare on nine. Sounds odd on its own, but in context, it'll sound fine. Okay, on to G. One there. One there on the snare on nine. Hi-hats all the way through. Last one is H. And this is quite, looks quite complex. Let's have a listen. So let's copy these, let's put in the hi-hats first, they're all the way through, pattern H, hi-hats all the way through. Hi-hats in toms, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then this tom here, two on the green, two on the blue. There it is on the snare, on, on the kick, sorry, the snare on nine. So now we've got pattern A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Okay, let's see how we add it to this track. 
So at bar one, make sure the cursor's at bar one up here in the top left hand corner, we're gonna add pattern A. So there is A, and I'm gonna zoom in so you can see really clearly what's going on. There's pattern A, it's already in. At bar two, we're gonna add pattern B. So I'm gonna click on B there, and then add B. And now you can see drum machine A and then B. We're gonna to go to bar three. Put the cursor on bar three, go to pattern C, and then add C. There it is. Move the cursor now to bar four. And we're going to go to the pattern D and add D. There it is. Cursor to five, click on E, add E. You get the idea now. Bar six, pattern F, add F to seven, pattern G, add G, and finally, bar eight, click on H and add H. There it is, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Now then, let's get rid of that for a minute because we are now gonna play the sequence in the sequencer. Rewind to the beginning, and then this will change as we go along. Here we go. Brilliant. But we still haven't got those really fast hi-hats, those triplets, quadruplets, that make trap and hip hop these days the sound that it is. How do we do that? We've got a 16 bar grid. How do we make it into 32? Watch carefully. First thing I'm gonna do is get another drum machine here. So let's add another track and click on the drum machine. Let's move this drum machine up to the top so we can clearly see. Let's go underneath the first one. Okay, and let's call this Trap Fast Hats. I'm gonna click on the icon here and I'm gonna change the kit. It's 808, so to stop the confusion, I'm gonna change it to, let's click on 808, pad kits. Let's go to a trap kit. So the, the original drum machine is 808, and the new one is going to be the trap kit. Now I'm gonna get rid of the pattern here, so it's just clear pattern. And what we're gonna do is, first of all, go all the way along. We don't need anything else apart from these hi-hats. And if I play it at the moment, you can't hear anything extra. So what we're gonna do now, and this is the really clever part, is actually move those hi-hats one 30-second part to the right. Sounds crazy? Watch carefully. And how we do this is to alter the grid. So I'm going up to View, and the grid size usually defaults to Smart. And what we need to do is put it on 132, and you'll see the actual grid pattern change. So 132, and now each bar is divided into 32 columns. Let's zoom in so we can see this really clearly. Okay, so each little column here is 132 of a beat. And all I'm gonna do is grab this drum machine and move it one little grid to the right. Have a listen to this. Okay, it's as simple as that. Let's move it back. And you can't hear that because it's exactly the same as the other one. But by just going one click to the right, one 30 second of a beat. And we've got that really super fast hi-hat effect. Now we can mess around, we can have some fun because we don't always want it to go all of those uh, 16 together. So let's just, for example, 
take out randomly, unless you're a real trap freak, you can design exactly how the pros do it. But here's a, a random one. And if you like that, great. Go on to pattern B. Let's clear that. And this time let's have, let's go for three. Three, three, three. How about this? And we'll keep doing this process. So we're on this drum machine, the trap kit. We're gonna to go to C, nothing in it. Okay, so this time let's have maybe two there, four there, two there. Have a listen. Okay, that's on pattern C. So up to bar three. And we're going to click on C, there it is, add C, and then move it one, one click across. Let's have a listen now from the beginning. Okay, click on bar four, pattern D we're gonna add now. And let's have maybe five, just in the middle there, add D, and there it's changed, and then move it just one click to the right. Have a listen from bar four. Now we're on E, randomly doing this. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. Again, on its own, it sounds nothing. But in context, let's have a listen. So we want it to come in at bar five. Click on the cursor at bar five. Make sure we're on E and then add E. There it is. Move it one click to the right and play. So repeat the process for E, F, G and H with a little variation. And if you don't like it, you can edit it as you go along by just clicking on it, taking out or adding more in as you wish. Let's up the volume to make it really obvious. So to give it more emphasis, I'm gonna take out A, C, E, and G, just so you can hear it a little bit more obviously. If you found value in this video, please like and subscribe so that you don't miss the next video where by adding just creator kits, we get this. I hope this has been useful. If it has, please like and subscribe and share and make sure you don't miss the next BandLab secret. Till then, keep making music.